yeah so today we will be discussing about the trigonometric equations so before going into trigonometric equations let's see what is an equation right so equation is nothing but a general variable assigned to something we should have a variable we should have an assignment operator and we should have some constant so this is typically called a equation so a trigonometric equation is uh, is something which has trigonometric function of some variable let's say if i have sin x is equal to 0 so we have a variable we have some value we have a <coughs> assignment operator so this is an equation which kind of equation this is a trigonometric equation right so so we if we have an equation and an unknown we should be able to solve for this value so just upon looking if we consider the value of x let's say if x is uh, in between 0 and 90 degree right so if this is our case what will be sin x equal to 0 sin x equal to 0 is something when we get sin x value of 0 whenever we have x value as 0 or if i say sin x is equal to let's say 1 by root 2 right so when will we get 1 by root 2 as the answer whenever x will be equal to 45 degree whenever the given the condition x is between 0 and 90 degree what if if i don't have this condition right so we'll be able to we should be able to solve for general cases right so for any trigonometric equation there will be two kind of solution one is called principal solution the other one is called general solution right so the condition for principal solution is something that the value of x will be in between 0 and 2 pi that is in our co coordinate system so in only in this 360 degree we'll be considering the value of x the if we if this is the condition the answer that we get is called principal solution so in general solution we will be considering for all x belongs to z where z is integers all right okay so now let us say what will be the solution of sin x is equal to 0 so if we consider the principal solution when will we get x as uh, when will we get sin x as 0 whenever we will be having x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 180 degree and 360 degree right so these three values are the principal solutions right so for general solution what will be the value right so whenever we have x would be equal to n pi right so if we can have where n belongs to z right so if we substitute n is equal to 1 we will get pi if we substitute n is equal to 0 we will get 0 if n is equal to 2 we get 2 pi so for all the values of n we will be getting sin x as 0 right so similarly for cos x is equal to 0 right so what will be the value of x for principal solution so x would be equal to for cos 90 degree as well as 270 degree right so these two are the principal solutions for general solution what will we get will be having x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 because 90 degree is pi by 2 and 270 degree is 2 pi 3 pi by 2 right so let's say let's say we have n is equal to 0 we'll be having x is equal to pi by 2 so let's say n is equal to uh, let's say 5 so we'll be having 2 into 5 is 10 10 plus 1 11 x is equal to 11 pi by 2 
right so now let's move on to general solutions right so what if we have something like sin x is equal to sin y so how is x and y related so we can directly say that if x is x and y are less than or equal to 90 degree and greater than or equal to 0 degree x would be equal to y right so if this condition is not there if for the general case how should we solve this how should we how can we relate x and y so we have to do some simplification for this so we'll start by sending the sine y to the lhs sine x minus sine y will be equal to zero this is sine you can apply the sine formula so that is equal to 2 cos x plus y divided by 2 and sine x minus y divided by 2 that is equal to 0 right so 2 will be cancelled so we will be having two cases either sine of co sorry cos of x plus y divided by 2 is equal to 0 or sine of x minus y divided by 2 is equal to 0 right so we'll consider this we'll consider this for the time being so if cos of something is equal to 0 what should be here so what should be the value of this x plus y divided by 2 so this value will be equal to x plus y divided by 2 as discussed earlier will be equal to 2 2 n plus 1 into pi by 2 you will have 2 2 gets cancelled x is equal to 2 n plus 1 into pi minus y right so for the general conditions we have to add 2 n plus 1 into pi plus of minus 1 to the power of 2 n plus 1 into y right so this we have one here so if we consider this we'll have x minus y x minus y whole divided by 2 is equal to n pi as discussed earlier so we'll have x minus y is equal to 2 n pi x is equal to 2 n pi plus y right for general condition x is equal to 2 n pi plus of minus 1 to the power of 2 n into y so we have two relations for x and y so by combining these two we can write x is equal to n pi plus of minus 1 to the power of n into y so we have the second question what if our solution has what if a trigonometric equation has cos x is equal to cos y how to relate x and y in this case again so we will be following similar steps cos x minus cos y is equal to 0 so now we have cos x minus cos y is given by minus 2 sine of x plus y whole divided by 2 into cos of x minus y whole divided by 2 is equal to 0 so again we'll consider the first case we'll have minus 2 and 2 is minus and 2 is will be cancelled we'll have sine of x plus y whole divided by 2 is equal to 0 it means that x plus y whole divided by 2 is equal to n pi right so x will be equal to we'll be sending to that to that to the rhs 2n pi minus y so the other condition we have cos of x i'm sorry this is also here we have sine i have written the wrong formula right so cos of sorry sine of 
x minus y divided by 2 is equal to 0 again we'll have x minus y divided by 2 is equal to n pi x is equal to 2 n pi plus y so combining these two we'll have x is equal to 2 n pi plus or minus y so for the last case we have if the trigonometric equation is tan of x is equal to tan of y so tan x minus tan y is equal to 0 so tan x minus tan y we cannot apply the formula here instead we will simplify in terms of sine and cos sin x by cos x minus sin y by cos y is equal to 0 so taking the LCM we have sin x cos y minus cos x sin y all divided by cos x cos y is equal to 0 sending this term to RHS will that will be cancelled out so we have so this can be written as sin of x minus y right sin of x minus y is equal to 0 so this is nothing but x minus y is equal to n pi so x is equal to n pi plus y 